What up? Two J's here. So I just want to uh, the saying. I want to elaborate on this on a saying, on the saying, a rolling stone gathers no moss. So yes, like even though that's true, and the saying's implying that if you keep moving, you won't get old is what they're trying to imply there. But what they fail to elaborate on is how useful and good and life-giving moss can be. So, I mean, cause the, the goal, if, if, you're, if you're constantly a rolling stone and still moving, nothing can grow on you kind of thing. So if you think about it, so like, say if you're in a survival situation, wa moss collects water for you to drink. So that literally can collect life for you and be life-saving to you. Moss can be life-saving. There has healing qualities. It can filter water. It can collect water. Things like that. You can use moss for uh, tons of different things. Putting on top of your of your rooftop to keep water, your shelter, your makeshift shift shelter from it getting in. So like moss isn't necessarily always a bad thing. Like they they kind of refer to it as a bad thing in the in that quote kind of thing, you know. But isn't shouldn't the goal be to for something to grow take root develop because to me that isn't that the goal like so so rolling being a rolling stone and isn't necessarily the good thing you know isn't isn't always a good thing because it's like you can you can grow moss and still be and still move you know, like, it's like, it's like, if you get old, you can still, still stay moving, you know, that doesn't mean that you, like, you, for some reason, it's like, there's, there's lots of quotes like that, where it's like, you know, people don't expand their mind to thinking about both, you can have both, you could have moss, and you could stay, and you could roll, you know, like, you could roll with moss, so, so, like, people don't take it to that next step, usually, of thinking, where it's like, you know, like, I get the saying, you know, you keep moving, you won't get old is what they're trying to imply, but that's also connecting that there's something wrong with growth and maturing and growing old, like there is something wrong with that when, I mean, that's when you, that's like, when you get older, you become established, you become distinguished, you know, things aren't, don't always just get harder and harder, some things get easier with with time and experience so it's not always a good thing to be move 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 go 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 because then nothing you can't stop you may not stop to enjoy the the way you know on the, on the actual journey of, of uh or like the the growth you may miss out on a lot of growth if you're go 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 if you think about it relationship wise if you're a rolling stone and you go from this person to that person to this person to that per person, how are you ever going to find love and develop anything that's worthwhile and, you know, uh, that is of value and quality if you're constantly on the move, got to go, go, go from this person, that person, this person, that person, you know, like that's how people get hurt and disease and stuff like that, you know, so it's like my attitude and my my outlook is more like be my circle or roll away you know go ahead so like you know it implies that implies with like friends women anything it's like yo if you don't want to be my circle then roll away you know that's the like go ahead another thing is if you're raw if you're constantly rolling and you're not being careful of where you're rolling, you could roll right into a river or right into the ocean and then you're a stone and you're sinking right to the bottom and your days of rolling be over. So you gotta be careful where you're rolling and who you're rolling with and and just of constantly rolling around all the time, you know? So it's like, so yeah, you got it's rolling, rolling's not always a good thing, especially if you're not being conscious of where you're rolling, how fast you're rolling, uh, who you're rolling with. So yeah, just wanted to touch on that. People don't always think about these quotes. They don't always, they don't always think them through. So I just wanted to share that, uh, my take and little perspective and insight on that one. 
So it's just like it says in 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 15.33, bad company corrupts good character. So in regards to that, I would say bad company can corrupt and may influence good character, but truly good character will resist and turn away from bad company if they truly have good character. So that's what, like, uh, it's like the concept of one bad apple can spoil the bunch. Uh, one bad apple can corrupt a bushel and cause them all to rot. So in regards to, say, who you choose to hang around with, you have to be careful who you choose to hang around with because you get a bad apple or someone rotten in your circle and they could, that could spread and cause them all to rot, you know, and become rotten. So it's spoiled. So that's, that's why you got to be careful who you yoke yourself up with. That's why it says, do not be yoked up with unbelievers. So like a yoke, like an animal yoke, they would put one animal attach it to another, yoke them together so that they could plow back in the day. And they still do it, but I mean, uh, fields are now usually in the, on this side of the world anyway, uh, where I am in Canada, like most of that's all done by tractors now, but there's still areas that use plows and uh, yoke animals together, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so it's instructing to equally yoke two of the same animals, two animals that are similar in strength, size, uh, speed, spirit, you know, so they're e equally matched or somewhat equally matched so that they can plow a straight line so that it's like if you put one small animal or weaker animal on the one side and a strong animal on the other, like, uh, like a donkey and an ox, the one could be way stronger, the ox could be way stronger than donkey and just be dragging the donkey the one way so you won't be plowing straight lines, it'll go crooked and things like that, you know, or vice versa, the donkey could be stronger and going this way and that, that way and, you know, depending on the spirit and the strength of the animal, you know, so the goal is to find someone who's similar, similarly matched to you in size, strength, uh, spirit, so that you can plow, move in straight lines together on the with a common goal, same, same path kind of thing. So it's just t stressing how it's important to be equally matched up with other people. Um, but yeah, so it's just important to really assess who's in your circle and who you who you keep company with because it can it can lead to corruption. So it's very important teaching, but yeah, it's like, I just wanted to address that first Corinthians 15, 33, because bad company corrupts good character. No, it doesn't because if they're truly good character, they won't allow it. They'll turn away and they won't become corrupt. They'll, they'll resist and turn away from the bad company if they have good character. So I just wanted to point that out. It's just like how people try to claim Oh, hell will be full. It's full of Christians and, uh, it will be full of Christians and this and that. No, if they're truly Christian, they wouldn't go to hell. They'd be following righteousness in the ways of, of God and Christ. So they wouldn't be in hell. So those would be, yeah, there may claim to be Christians that will be in hell that claim that they follow Christ and the ways of Christ, but then their actions prove, prove otherwise. So when people say that, Oh, hell's full of, uh, Christ, uh, Christians or, uh, it's kind of like, Oh, the, the path to hell is paved with good intentions. They try to say, it's like, no, the pa path to hell is paved with evil intentions. They, the devil has evil intent to harm and destroy and kill. And that's what paved the way to hell. And that's what, so it's not like if you're, if you have the in, intent to, if you intend to do good, God knows your heart. So he knows that you're trying to do good. You're doing your best, you know? So it's like, that's, 
that's what it talks about. God weighs the heart. So God knows if you're maliciously trying to harm and do evil and be against him and others uh, or not, you know, he knows if you were trying to serve in love or not, you know, so there's just lots of different quotes like that where, you know, they're, it may, they may appear true when you first hear them and, uh, but then you, when you really think about it, you know, it's, it's like that one, uh, scripture where it says, you know, um, a, a man or a person seems right until someone, and until the first one who speaks may seem right until someone comes and cross examines and questions them. You know what I mean? So pe that happens in, you see that in the, like in a courtroom all the time, like with law, like someone will testify and then people will all be like, Oh, that sounds like that's true. That's true. But then if someone comes, then the, then the next lawyer or person comes along, cross examines to get to the truth of things. And, you know, that's why it's important to always que to question and, you know, think about things for yourself instead of just blindly accepting things as truth from people just because it sounds good and pleasing to the ears at first, because there's warnings about that. It's talking about the end times and how people won't endorse sound doctrine, but they'll turn away and they'll put a bunch of teachers that around them that tell them what they want to hear, that they're the desires of the of their itching ears. It says that they want to hear it, like scratches their ear. It's pleasing for them to hear it, but it doesn't mean that it's true just because someone says something and it sounds good at first, you know, so. But yeah, I just wanted to correct that because you know, 1 Corinthians 15, 33, bad company corrupts good character. No, it doesn't. Not if the, if they're good character, they don't allow the bad company to corrupt, to corrupt them. They, they resist and turn away from bad company. But then there's situations where say, if you're in the, in bad company where you get forced in a situation, like say if someone, if bad company goes to violence, you know, and it, that's more what it's in, what it's talking about. So it's like, say, if you're in a situation where you go around bad company, like drug dealers or something, and something goes bad and it goes to violence, someone pulls out a weapon on you, then, you know, you, what do you do? You turn the other cheek, you let them shoot you or no, you end up, ha you end up usually having to either, like I said, you try to resist and leave the bad company and get away from them or, you know, it leads to self-defense. So that's why it's talking about it. And like people don't, people that are good, com good character of good character don't want to partake of violence. So in that case, yeah, now that bad company caused a, uh, someone of good character to, ha to have to go to violence and self-defense to defend themselves, not to have to, but to choose to, in order to survive, you know, and then which Jesus d told us to turn the other cheek and things like that. Oh, if, do not resist an evil man. If he tell, if he holds you hostage to go a mile, go two miles. If, uh, if he asks for your, uh, if he asks for your, this, give him your cloak, your shirt, give him your cloak as well. Kind of thing or whatever the scriptures are, you know? So it's like, he's basically telling you not to resist evil, which, I mean, there has to be a limit to that when you're in the world too, because you, we, that's what law is. You can't just let evil run the show and, and break law and continue. You can't like people of law and God can't just sit back and watch evil and partake like, and not, and not step up and do what they can and use necessary force in order to stop them. That's what the law is given for so that you can see that person's breaking the law. They need to be stopped. I'm within my legal rights to be able to do that. Use necessary force to stop them. And that's what police policing supposed to be, you know, but then we, but then when government becomes corrupt, then you get, you know, you get different levels of corruption within the government, the judges or president. That's a testament to first Corinthians, uh, 1533 too, as well. You can see, you know, a lot of these people who are in the government start off with, uh, good intentions, uh, good character. And then they get in involved and they get thrown in a position and they become corrupt because of their position. Uh, the, the power that they have, they, the, uh, once they get, uh, uh, once they get a taste of how corrupt the system is that can, that can influence them and rub off on them to do the same 
uh, like you know that's why like issues with corrupt policing you know and then you see it in movies all the time police will be like oh you're not gonna take the payoff like oh everyone does and, you know what i mean and then they think that becomes like the status quo and the norm so they think that they're not doing anything wrong but like two wrongs don't make a right you know what i mean so it's like you, you two people being wrong there's no right in that just because everyone just because the crowd agree all agrees doesn't mean that the crowd is right you know so it talks about that in the bible with like majority you know fall like the majority like many fall find the way to destruction few are chosen many many are called but few are chosen many go to destruction few find the narrow path and narrow gate that leads to life broad is the way to destruction that leads to destruction many follow it it says so it talks about the majority of of these beings like of the crowd those are scriptures touching on not following the status quo in the crowd just because everyone else is doing it and the corrupt like being corrupt and evil and sinning that's like you know you don't hop in don't hop in the pit with them you know what i mean so anyway i just wanted to touch on that so the record of adam and eve and the apple is a testament to that you know we can witness that you know through the one the one act of rebellion the one choice one bad choice by one evil one devil one evil angel one woman one man one act of rebellion one choice it all leads to inheriting sin for all which corrupts corrupts all you know all of creation except for those separate from from you know uh from people and that like the good angels and god all those who are separate in holiness and righteousness but like even that act they start a war then even the good angels the holy angels end up having to cast out the evil angels so it may it forces their hand doesn't force their hand but then it forces god's hand to command them to you know cast out the evil and so it basically corrupts it, it can corrupt and push to violence and things like that so like that's uh, the perfect like you know testament to to that the whole bible the origin story of of man and woman and it all points to that that one one act one choice one bad decision one act of rebellion can you know lead to death and that's what the whole the whole testimony testifies to you know and it's very true in life when you look at it you could make one bad decision and there goes your life you could choose to drink and drive and boom there goes your life one one act of rebellion against law and stupid decision and boom you just you're dead and it's the same goes with anything it's like oh someone convinces you oh let's uh do this crime like let's do this or any oh we can get away with it or these people have done it so it can be done this and, and then you do you know like oh let's rob a bank or something and then boom you get shot and you're dead so like one act of rebellion or greed or anything like that it can lead to death so it's like that's why it's so important to like think about your decisions and make wise decisions and use discernment and have good character and to turn away from evil sin and people that and not to be yoked up with those who are partaking in it so and you've got to be careful when you are around bad bad company because where there is one bug there is often another birds of a feather flock together so you know usually if there's one there's usually a few there's usually another one or a few more nearby you know so it's like they're so like uh i mean like it take bugs for instance if you have bugs ants in your kitchen or bugs in your kitchen and you find them in one spot there's probably you f find one in one spot there's probably a few more kicking around that same area you know because they don't a lot birds of a flock fly together kind of thing you know so it's just like uh in say in the instance of like criminals and police like if police police will put a bug on so on someone you know what i mean and they'll put a wire on them or something but it's like same same instance there are same same kind of thing you know where there's one bug 
there's often another, so there's probably another one nearby, <laughs> you know what I mean, or not far behind. So it's just like, it's just a, a quote that, you know, I was thinking of, because I literally, when I, I uh, find bugs in my kitchen, if I find a bug in my kitchen, you know, and I'll, uh, you know, uh, and then you're looking in an area and you're like, oh, there's one. So there's probably a few more in this area, you know. Anyway, much love, peace. Calm and charming like me I go up to every hearty I see And say, here's my card and my key You should come party with me I'm hard as a tree Want you to shake your body for me Get hard as a tea Bad cause it's naughty to be We don't gotta agree Be just a dot in the sea Out when we roll out, show out when we throw down, ball out, it's a blowout, rock the whole crowd, so loud, packed but never sold out, the speaker, don't pound, till I hear no sound, I'm going, going, gone, about to roll out, roll now, blow now, go now, got dough now, go out, cause I know how, no doubt, we roll out, like we're stuck in a hole, in the whole ground, stuck in the cold, it's cold out, we got thrown out, if you did it and go, well you know now we gon' roll round the whole town like yo frown. We're so down, about to roll loud like we're homebound in our hometown in a showdown with no rounds. A whole crown in the flow sound go down like a car window roll down. Cause I'm always flying high like there's no ground. Dope clown, joke round, smoke pound, won't slow down. Keep it on the low down, my girl always hot, I always gotta. Stick out with my frickin' dick out, walk and rock out with my cock out, hang and bang out with my wang out, song out with my song and dong out, spoon out with my moon out, pass out with my ass out, come out with my bum out, jam out when you clam and cam out, put out, puts out with the goods out, swing out with my thing out, show go and hoe out with my dough out, chillin' out with my willy out, strut out with my butt out, run out with my gun out, but don't roll with a barrel and my clothes in apparel, no hoes that are sterile, they're calling me daddy, but I'll roll like a fatty. Speed away on the speed 
away the freeway Use the e-brake like I'm DK It's a tree day, I'll be paid Ignore all the he say, she say Here say the DA Give me some leeway I roll out Casino, free play Ladies, ladies, get the delay C-O-C-K Every way, free day Without delay We lay, we lay The buy-in on it like eBay It's my B-Day See snake tell the DJ VJ hit replay to be great Everything we say, we make Don't be fake A keepsake S-O-S-I-C-K If a chick don't like this cock D I C K. She must be gay every way Cause I'm hotter than a heat ray Heat wave, a bachelor of the arts A B-A, every guy wanna BJ In the C-A-N-A-D-A Each day, cause I'm rapping like I'm from BK Get more bars, put on track Relay, till we play Each play like Ricky Ray Roll out like the ball, it's in the game E-A, I'm so crazy, I be cray When I thought Kanye was in jail I protested on the street, made a public announcement On the PA and started shouting free A every day Till every girl beach babe and fiend came to give me a BJ and have a three-way than I had Watch the rapper rip rap. Watch the rapper rip. Watch the rapper rip rap. Am I 
I ascend to just another fallen angel Angel, is this earth a beautiful heaven or just a damned hell? Grand jail, am I in distress just a damn cell? Where evil angels, devils, and where man fell Now I know how it must have felt to be Alexander Graham Bell Because I've got so much I wish to say to people all across the world And I just can't tell Watch the rapper rip rap. Watch the rapper rip. Watch the rapper rip rap. Watch the rapper rip. Watch the rapper rip rap. Watch the rapper rip. Watch the rapper rip rap. Watch the rapper rip. Watch the rapper rip rap. Watch the rapper rip. Watch the rapper rip rap. Watch the rapper rip. Watch the rapper rip rap. Watch the rapper rip. Watch the rapper rip rap. Watch the rapper rip. Watch the rapper rip rap. Watch the rapper rip. Watch the rapper rip rap. Watch the rapper rip. Watch the rapper rip rap. Watch the rapper rip. Watch the rapper rip rap. Watch the rapper rip. Watch the rapper rip rap. Watch the rapper rip. Watch the rapper rip rap. Watch the rapper rip. Watch the rapper rip rap.